In this lesson we're going to have a look at a special case when there is a zero as an index number. We'll go through this process and you'll see how it works. Use the index laws to simplify a to the 5 divided by a to the 5. Well because this is a division we write down our base a and our indices 5 take away 5. Remember the same bases a division we subtract the indices and therefore we get the solution a to the 0. Now the question is what does this actually mean? Well we're going to show how a to the 0 actually equals 1 and one way that we can do this is to take this expression and write it out in expanded form. So we take a times a And we've got five of those. Because it's a division, we'll put our division sign there and we'll repeat it because there's another five. And I think you can probably already see in advance what we're going to do here. When we've got a division, we can cancel out. And remember, A goes into A once, A goes into A once, and so on. All of these are ones. So I'll just keep cancelling through and we end up with 1's at the top, 1's at the bottom, which is 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. So our rule is that anything to the power of 0 is going to equal 1. Let's use this rule to evaluate the following numbers. In this case, We've got x to the power of 0, so we can use the rule straight away and say that's equal to 1. Now, we've got these two expressions here that look almost the same except for the brackets, and it's very important that we actually see what the difference is. This one here means that everything inside the bracket is to the power of 0, so it's both 3 and x are to the power of 0. So one way to look at it would be to say, well, let's write it out again, 3x to the 0. Let's expand this inside, 3 times x to the 0. And remember that every number has a power of 1 if it hasn't got another power indicated. So then what we do, our rule says to take the number outside and multiply it with the numbers inside. So we've got 3 to the 1 times 0 times, now let's look at this x here, 1 times 0. So that gives us 3 to the power of 1 times 0 which is 0 times x and that's to the power of 1 times 0 which is 0 applying our rule twice we get this number 1 times 1 which equals 1. So in other words if we look at this because everything is to the power of 0 the whole answer is 1. But what about this one here? Well the difference here is that only the x is to the power of 0. There are no brackets and the best way to see that is if we write it out first of all in expanded form this becomes 3 times x to the 0. So as you can see only the x is to the power of 0. So that would be 3 times 1 which equals 3. So it's very important to make sure that when we've got a 0 like this here that we leave this number with a power of 1 or just the number 3 in this case. 